it. This is the 3130. Plug it in. It immediately powers itself up. It tells you to link. Hit the link button. We hit the link button here. And turn the key on. Tells us it's linked and it says there's no DTCs present, which is good. And we're gonna go to live data mode now. We'll start it up. Live data, and you can see the live data. See the calculated load, numbers. Let's get something we can see a change. Engine RPM. See it right now, it's 993. When I put my foot on the gas, it goes up with it. So it is in real time. If we're moving it, it would actually tell us vehicle speed. Here's some of the other parameters. But these all are all dependent on the uh, what you're plugged into. I have a 2007 Ford truck that uses the new CAN protocol and it tells you a lot more information. And then what we'll do here, is we'll go into live data mode to save. And let's see if I can remember this. Live data menu. Enter, record live data. I'm going to do it by trigger. We want 10 frames before and after. And it'll take one moment, please, while it gets ready to record. A, sometimes it takes about a, I don't know, maybe a, less than a minute. Okay, now it says ready to record. And I'll push the data button. So we push that, and it tells you one moment, please, recording live data. Well, this records frames, so it's not going to play back like it was recorded as far as everything changing on the fly. That, that real real time mode is only whenever you're using it, you know, you're not recording, you're just putting it in live data mode. So this is recording right now. And the light, three lights blink like I just did, that means it's successful. Now if you want to view it, so I can view it. And it's, on the top it says trigger frame. You can get out there all the parameters and look at them frame by frame. So we can go to the next frame here. You can see it says plus one. That's one beyond the trigger point because I told it to do 10 before and after the trigger point. I go previous, you'll see that it will back up. I go, this is prior to the trigger. And you got 10 frames that way. So you get 20 frames total. So that's about it. And we can go back to DTC and get out of here. Exit playback, and now we're back to live data. You can see the numbers changing there. That's about it.